guys. I thought I'd get on here real quick and show you some things I got today and give you some updates and just touch base with everybody. Oh my gosh. I am overwhelmed. I cannot believe how many subscribers we have got recently. And I thank every one of you. I'm so overjoyed with how many subscribers have come in the last week or so since I did the giveaway. And um, my videos are starting to get into some of the lineups. And um, I know that there are some people out there who have mentioned me. So I think that may be part of it. Or maybe just because, just because it's just, you know, people are just now finding me. And uh, I really am glad to have everybody. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for being here. If you've been watching, thank you for being here. I'm so glad to have everybody. Okay. My name is Jill. I am Blossom. I'm coming to you from West Texas. And I live here with my hubby and our two dogs, our ten cats and some kittens, four cows, a bull, two horses, and a donkey. What a list, huh? <laughs> okay, so I wanted to let you know that I went to Hubby Lobby today and show you a couple of things I got. Now, all, not all of this is yarny stuff. So, I'm just going to show it all to you because I know people like to see what you get. Okay. So, the first thing I got, there were, I always look through the books when I can, when I have time. So, I got this one. This is graphic pattern afghans in crochet some very cool patterned I like this is arrows ocean waves this one actually is a ripple let's look on a couple of them I'm not crazy about this color I just would kind of like to see it in something else. That one is called Zippers. So it's got a really cool construction though. I guess the in-between there kind of looks like zippers, like where it's put together here. This one's called Lightning Bolt. It's a pretty kitty. Nice clean kitty. Our kitties aren't that clean out here. They're all outside. This one's called Skyline. Okay, now at first I was thinking, I looked at it, and I was thinking about books on a shelf. But those are supposed to be buildings. And there's the ocean waves. And I'm pretty sure that Mikey from the Crochet Crowd has done that stitch. I've seen that in one of those tutorials. Now this one's called Ripples. So, you know, from the back you can't really tell. But if you look closer, there's the ripples. And I really kind of like this in that two-tone gray charcoal-y stuff. That's kind of cool. This one is shaded V's. V's. This is that stitch where, you know, those spike stitches where you stitch down and then stitch and then stitch down. And this one looks pretty heavy with what they've used. Now, they tell you everything in here about what. Uh, yarn weight to use and everything. There's a guideline by looking at the pictures. But I looked through the whole book and nowhere in here does it say what yarn they used. 
that's the one that's called arrows. Okay, this is the designer, and this is a Leisure Arts. It was originally $9.99. This one I got for $2.49. Went too fast for it. I had to focus. <laughs> okay, $2.49. Okay, now this other one. was originally $24.99 and I got it for $6.24. My knitted doll. Are they not adorable? Yes, I know this is going to be work. But look how adorable. And all the clothes. And I'm thinking even if you did the clothes and did a garland, like to hang in a girl's room, or a boy's room, or, you know, a craft room. These miniatures are great. And the little boy's on the back. So there are 12 dolls and 50 garments in this one. This is done by Louise Crowther. It's a DNC. Which is David and Charles. And it is Sue and Sue and so and so. This is the so and so line from the UK. And I looked through several of these patterns. And I'm not going to have the problem with these that I do with the other UK patterns because the knitting looks like it's pretty straightforward. Um, the one thing they say is stocking stitch three rows. Well, that's stockinette. But other than that, you know, the language and, and the writing and the way they do it are all pretty, pretty straightforward. So I don't think any of these stitches are going to be anything different. So, this is Faye. They all have names. Look at her boots. And a bunny on her little shirt. I mean, so there's color work. And, and this one. <laughs> she took it. Polly. How cute is she? With her ponytails. And they call that plating. And they, sh they have, look at Martha. How cute is Martha? And it's done in like a denim. They call this a denim. And they show you some techniques on how to work with the different parts and pieces and sew them together and, you know, tips and things for doing this, you know, so that's cool, but, oh, I couldn't resist them, they're just too cute, oh, okay, so that one, <coughs> sorry guys, that one was 624, okay, this next one is, was not on sale, but for the price, at $9.99, these are eight different wraps. Again, it's a Leisure Arts. So we've got, this one's called Sparkle. And those are like the little flat plastic pieces that are woven into the yarn, like a sequiny type. You could use something with sequins. Here it is in the back.
This one is the Shimmering Ripple. Look at those purples. Jan Carruthers would like those purples. Oh, I can't really tell that it's purples. They look kind of gray, don't they? This one from the front is called Stepping Out. Blocks. Color blocks. This one's called Pretty Picos. Now, I can see this one being done in whatever you wanted to do it in. Not too busy, but it could be done in something other than a solid. And then you could do something different here, so just reverse it. So don't think of it just as a as a solid. It could be done differently. Although I really like those colors together. And this is a pretty little thing. This is this is done in a one, but this is called light and lacy. And it's a triangular. You can see here it's triangular. But that's done in a one, but isn't that stunning? Wouldn't that be pretty for like a wedding or something and so with this one this looks like something Jan would do this is a um, light and no lacy triangle that's like a silver and I like that stitch pattern Okay, this one's a shawlette, and I can see this one being done, and you guys may know that color. That kind of, to me, looks like a Karen Simply Soft. Doesn't that look like a Karen Simply Soft color? I love the way that edge is done. And this one is Leafy Lace Work. And this one's done in the sport weight too, but you can see the leaves. And it, it looks really big, but now the measurements on this say it's a, it's 25 wide. So that would be here, which, which is pretty, you know, it's two feet. And then it's 68 and a half long. That's pretty. I even like it in that brown. And these patterns are all done by, we were talking about crochet designers the other day. They're done by Melissa Leapman. So that's that. That's my pattern books I got today. And that, oh, and that one was $9.99. Okay. Now, these two things I got for my grandson, because you all know I'm going there in, to New Orleans at the end of the month, end of April. Sticker pads, and they're reusable stickers. And I got two of them. This one's vehicle. And a couple of them, see, they've got, like, scenery where you can run them and do stuff. So, yeah, these were, okay, these were $4.99 each. And there's five scenes, over 150 stickers in that one. This one's five scenes and over 165 stickers. 
So there's, you know, where I said there was scenery, there's five of those to put them on. So I guess they stick over and over again. They, they are reusable. So I'm excited to do that with him when I go. Okay, then we got... that one. Oh, got these pencils because I've started doing a lot of the adult coloring. These were $6.99. These are eraser pencils, okay? And it says on the back, two eraser pencils for detailed erasing and correcting removes pencil color and charcoal lines cleanly. Ideal for highlighting and brightening up colors. So, these are a Faber Castell Faber because it's Joyman. Those were $6.99. I didn't get anything off on those. However, these are their fine touch colored pencils, 36 of them, regularly $7.99. I got them for $3.99. They were 50% off. Now, I have one jar already. No judging, guys. No judging. Got one jar already of colored pencils. But, you know, I wanted to see if there would be different colors and guess what nothing in here was a flush tone but this one's got two so now I will have flush tone all the way through and there's some brighter ones in here too almost like neon -y. so that, I thought that was a good buy okay then I got Okay, this was regularly $4.99, and I got it for I got it for $2.99. This is the Agenda 52. These are bookmarks, and these are the three girls that are in there. I'm gonna split these with my girls. I got that one. And it was 40% off, so it was $4.99, and I got it for $2.99. This one was $3.99, and I got it for $2.39. And she's sassy. And these are the three girls. So there's three in here. And these fit in my planner. Like I said, this haul had a little bit of everything. Hang on, there's yarn. Okay, this one was $2.99, and I did not get anything off on it. This is Fiddlesticks. And it's a six-pack, 50 pieces. So this was in the party area, which was not on sale. But they're sticky notes. Very pretty floral. Okay, these. Okay, this one was 40% off. No, there's these two that were $9.99. And I got them for 40% off, so they I got them for $5.99 each. These are the Carpe Diem stickers. Twelve sheets, 522 stickers.
This one's called Bloom. And then this was $7.99 and I got it for $4.79 at 40% off. This goes with the Happy Planner and these are the journaling stencils. So you put these on your page and you can stencil out what would be a sticker. You stencil it with pencil or pen. And they fit in the planner along the side. See, it's punched. Okay. This was $1.99 and it had three different sizes. I thought that was a pretty good deal because I looked at all of them. Sharpener for my pencils. These were $16.99. I got them for 40% off. I needed to get the metal ones because I talked about this before. I don't particularly like those plastic ones. Uh, so these are the Happy Planner discs, but they're metal. See how shiny they are? You'll see them when I get them on my planner. And then I got this, which was $2.59. And I didn't get anything off on this because the accessories were not. And these are the ring. So you slide that little end in. And so that's great for both knitting and crochet. Okay. Now there's not a whole lot, but hold on. Okay, so... I picked up this pattern. This is these are called soft and sleek. So I'm guessing that because this is Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna uh, they would use the soft and sleek yarn B, both of them, and they're ponchos. One's knit and one's crochet. Here, this one is on. You could make that longer, I'm guessing. And this one on. So, free pattern. Okay, they didn't have a lot of clearance at my Hobby Lobby, but. They did have a few things kind of interspersed here and there. And they had these faux fur um, pom poms. So this is white. You can't tell, but it's got the little black on the ends. This is brown. And this is brown. So there's three of those. 74 cents each. How could I not? And these are made by Pepperell Crafts. And they do have the elastic. 74 cents. The only three they had that were 74 cents, so I got all three of them. That's two dollars and twenty-two cents for those three. Okay, now they had thirty percent off on all the yarn, and these were normally five ninety-nine, and I got them for four dollars and nineteen cents each, and I got four, which made it sixteen dollars and seventy-six cents for the four. This is the Chloe Yardby Chloe. 270 yards, 3.5 ounces. This color is bisque. They're a number four. And it's 70% wool and 30% viscose. And they have that like a single construction. Get 
This one is called bisque. There's gray, taupes, creams. And then we have carnation. There goes from the grays and the taupes are in there along with these pinks and roses. Carnation y pink. Two French rose. That's a good color there. Some tonals in there. See that? And it's got a little halo on it from the wool. So you you feeling me here? From there to there to there. And this is the same one. It's just this this was just slightly darker. They're the same color. They're both French rose. But they looked a little bit different. I don't know if you could tell that. They're almost hand painted look. So that's my plan. So yeah, that's the yarn I got today, and that's it. One of my customers gave me this last week, week before. It's a Hobby Lobby Colors Gate. Brown and taupe and gray. This one is called Munich. Four weight. And I want to do this scarf. Now this that says here it takes two balls to do it. But I may do this scarf and not use this one. We'll see. I'm looking for the color. Oh, Munich is the color. Um, did I say how many yards? 187 in the color scape. It's real pretty though, and it's real soft. Anyway, she had bought it from for some other purpose and said we don't need it anymore, so she brought it to me. So I acquired that one. And I acquired, because I ordered it, now came all packaged up and in this box, I should show you that box, kind of like a pencil case, this is plastic, Let me undo it here. You see it? Cherry blossoms. How gorgeous are they? Oh, guys. I got a G, which is a 4.25 boy hook. And it's initialed. Can you see the initials? There you go. This is handmade with Fimo clay. I know it's clay. And it's the Polymer Clay Creations by Angela Hickey. So see that says A-C-H. It's kind of hard to see this. Let me hold it up there for a sec. Now, if you can't see that or whatever and you're interested, just let me know.
Oops. That was a code. Don't look at that. I'll put it down below. And mine came with It's, it's got the bigger. The, it's not a lobster. It's like the earrings. Um, it, it's a jewelry clasp. So it matches me. Love it. I've been wanting to use it, but I had to show y'all. And I think that'd be a good place to put the hooks. Worked a little bit more on the blanket. This is the one I'm doing out of the Burnett. Baby blanket stripes in the color butterfly wings. So when I finish that one, that's it. All the bigger it will be. And this is an end hook. I looked it up. I found my my gauge. It's an end. And I've worked a little bit on. This one, I don't know how far I was. Looks like I was right there. Changing new jobs and all that stuff. Um, honestly. I haven't really had a whole lot of time to work on anything. I changed jobs and I like the job. I just don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing and I haven't done any of the stuff like the processes yet. Um, if, if you're new to my channel, I just this week closed my beauty shop. I've had a license for 35 years. I closed my beauty shop. This is skipping around. I don't know why. What's up with that? Anyway, um, so I took a job working for the company that I sell essential oils and candle melts for. And uh, so it's all still new and I'm still transitioning. Oh, I didn't know y'all got guys one more thing hold on a minute seriously the electronics are having a hissy fit today a hissy fit <laughs> I'm trying to show y'all my books one more time My hubby and I went to a bookstore that's closing here. Now, this is one of those places that was like the half price books. Now, that's a, a regular name of a series of bookstores, and there's still a lot of those open. But this one was like that. You could bring in your books and you could get credit and stuff for it. Anyway, I really didn't need any more books. I looked for a few for one of my customers. But I didn't need any more. And y'all know I listened to the books on CD. So let me show you what I got. We got J.D. Robb, Indulgence in Death. I got these for like $3 a piece. 
Everything's there. The boxes are a little bit crazy. Clive Cussler, The Cutthroat. This one looks like it's set back. These are all either mysteries or thrillers. Nevada Bar, Winter Study. Alex Gilly, I've never heard of him. Devil's Harbor. So you know you're going to get reviews on these. J.A. Jantz, Cold Betrayal. Now I really like her. This is Iris Johansson, Dead Aim. This is James Patterson with Howard Ruffin. Thriller of the Year in 05. <laughs> Honeymoon. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. James Patterson, 16th Seduction with Maxine Petrol. Uh, Julia Keller, Last Ragged, Last Ragged Breath. This one is Dean Kunst, Odd Interlude, and it's an Odd Thomas adventure. I didn't realize Dean Kunst did that. And there's a Netflix. Odd Thomas on Netflix, and my daughter and I watched, I think I fell asleep to that, not because it was boring, just, it was just different, I really need to, um, I really need to listen to this first, and kind of get a feel for it, and then I may go back and watch that Netflix, and then just because I have all the movies, I'd like to listen to a few of the books, this is Robert Ludlum, Born Identity, Born Supremacy, and Born Ultimatum. It's not, that's not all of them, but be good. Listen to the books, because you know they're different. So, what I was showing you before, before it so rudely disappeared, <laughs> is I made myself a spiral, 3x5 on spiral, and CD audiobooks, and I just do them all, you know, by alphabet. That way, because I don't keep these, there's a place in Abilene that we take them to, and I can go through and get some more. Well, I don't want to get the same ones over again, so I'm going to keep track. So finally, and then the one other thing I was going to show you, hang on, it's all going so well. <laughs> this is my coloring I did. Y'all have seen these. Now, I punched mine. I took them out of the book, and I punched them. So I'm hoping be able to put them on some discs so I get enough of them. Where are you guys? No, I don't see them now. I know it's rude. Sorry. Just not sure where I put them. Where did they go? Oh, did I show you? No, I haven't shown you this. Betty gave me a whole pack of patterns because these were either ones she didn't want or they were, um, I think I showed you these last time. Where 
having fun now. A bunch of them. Mostly hats. And other stuff. Stuff she printed out. And she's like, she wasn't going to do them. I want to see the coloring book. And I don't know what the heck I did with them, but I took them out of the book and I punched them so I could put them on discs. Yep, I did. And I did that one. It's going to be kind of hard to do some more if I can't find them. They're here somewhere. Nope, not in there. Oh, I know where they are. But don't start shaking again. Yep, there they are. Okay, now I have this one, which is cats. These are very intricate, guys. Can you see that? Isn't that crazy? It's going to be some really fine, fine stuff. I got this one at the Dollar General store. Sugar Skulls. Day of the Dead. It was on clearance. 25% off. I mean, it's just it's what you see there. A whole bunch of them. Those are really going to be intricate too. And then this one. I don't remember what these were called. It's not nature. But it reminds me a little bit of like the spirograph stuff. Oh, yeah, that's what I bought more colored pencils for. Guys, you got to work your brain. You know, work different parts of the brain. So doing cro uh, crochet is just one direction for me. And it's the left hand. You know, knitting is both. So I feel like it engages different parts of the brain. Coloring, writing. Those things are another part of the brain. Actually listening to st something is different than reading it. It's another part of the brain. It's another connection, so to speak. I do read. I don't read a whole lot, and I should read more. So... I wanted to make sure that I said thank you because I know that there are some out there like Seta from Seta's Place, um, Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, and gosh, several places, the Saturday Crafting Crew, um, Jan Carruthers Crafting Saturday Night. Those of you that came to me from the knit night on Friday night, all of those places and all those people that have shared my name or been in, in some way a part of increasing my subscribers and getting my name out there, I sure appreciate you. I thank you very much. I wanted to be sure and say that. Okay. I will see you after the Dallas Fort Worth Fiber Festival, which is this weekend, and I'm going to take some videos and some pictures, but you won't see me till after this coming weekend. Thanks, guys. See you next time.